Welcome back to The Exchange. Spotify shares have been up about 3% on two bullish notes this morning, have since paired those gains. KeyBank upped its price target to 205, Wells Fargo hiked theirs to 250 from 180, citing strong user growth and effective cost cuts. Spotify recently laid off 200 workers in its podcast division, which Wells says could help push podcast gross margins or gross profit to, to even next year. Let's dig deeper with the analyst behind that call, Stephen K. Hall. Stephen, how much of your excitement about Spotify is based on bottom line discipline versus top line growth? Yeah, thanks for having me today. Um, I'd say it, it is certainly a, a big piece of both. Uh, historically, I was actually very bearish on Spotify in disbelieving a margin improvement story there. And starting last summer, the company really changed uh, the way that it operated the business with a much greater focus on cost and efficiency. And we think you're gonna start to see that in the margins later this year. And then combined with a much more interdependent uh, relationship with the labels because Spotify has become so big, we think those two things been taken together give Spotify a new outlook on its margins. My concern, clearly not knowing as much about the company as you, is that in the industry, a lot of tilt is going toward live performance right now, where Spotify has some but limited exposure. And is this drive by content creators to get a greater share of the pie eventually going to show up in music the way it is right now in TV and movies? And is Spotify well enough positioned when it does? Yeah, I, I don't exactly share that view. You know, I think that there is a big difference between what we want to watch live and, you know, things like sports or awards shows would be good examples of that and what we want to listen to, um, which is, you know, usually uh, a lot of the same songs and, or maybe podcasts that we've loved over and over again. And while there is obviously a big live experiential component to music and audio, it's not necessarily what's traditionally been done in the home or in the car with our mobile phone. So I okay. think live is very different in the audio space. So where's the big top line growth opportunity, not just user growth, but just addressable market growth opportunity for Spotify now? It's absolutely pricing. Uh, Spotify has not raised price in the U.S. Uh, effectively ever. In a lot of major revenue markets in Europe, it also hasn't raised prices really ever. And so we do think that Spotify has a lot of pricing power, a very loyal user base, a very low churn. And so a lot of the revenue growth in the next few years, we think, will come from, from pricing. Oh, don't tell me that. I'm a subscriber. All right, Stephen K. Hall, <laughs> thank you.